Hi, I'm Damien and welcome to 1833. So before I get things started, I just want to big up this clothing brand, Dami Howe. Um, listen, I was looking for some sportswear the other day. I wanted to keep, wanted to keep it local, wanted to support our UK business. And I found this black company, Dami Howe, so shout out to Dami. It's not a paid sponsorship, I just thought this is just really nice. For those of you, they mainly do women's clothing. Um, and for those of you who spend a lot of time treading that doors, you like this, like, so the sleeve. Has this little whole compartment for your thumb so you can like cover your hands a little bit very useful i know when i'm outside training that that always comes out you wish always want to do this if it tops so yeah that's a nice touch i do like it good quality clothing yeah it looks good feels good so yeah go shout shout out to them and go check them out i'll put a link uh, to their website the ig in the, in the description box below and i'll be definitely getting more bits from them so boom uh new rum Admiral Rodney. This is the HMS Princea uh, box, limited edition one. So, uh, if you don't, if those who don't know, Admiral, Admiral Rodney is an was an actual person, and the HMS Prince Princea, would I call it for Princea? Princessa was an actual ship. Um, just a quick one-liner as to what it is. So the HMS Princessa was a uh, original Spanish ship. It was captured by uh, Admiral Rodney and Admiral Rodney's famous for uh, defeating the French in the Battle of the Saints. So you know in the Caribbean you've got St. Lucia, St. Martin, all those other places was a, was a massive battle in that area in the Caribbean in 17 something rubber and Admiral, Admiral Rodney is famous uh, for winning that battle. Uh, another quick fact for you, the HMS Princessa, when it was taken over by the British, it was the second, second, the second in command was Sir Francis Drake. So there he was, here's your lesson done, get some drinking. So let's open this up. So it's the box, I'll leave it here, that here. Actually, yeah, just with this side. So. So look, sorry, look at the camera, see where we are. Boom, there we are. So first, it's a really nice bottle. It's, um, a decanter style bottle. So it's one of those ones, you, one of those bottles you want, you'd want to keep and reuse because it looks looks beautiful. Um, yeah, so, color, so the color, nice golden brown. Golden like, brown. Oh, look at that one. Am I focus? Yeah, they were nice golden brown color. Really, really solid color. I'm looking forward to this. Um, so what they say, back of the bottle, the Princea, Princea, stop saying that, the Princessa, <laughs> okay, Princea from the HMS Princessa. Um, so Kofi Column Steel Rum, Asian both Port Cast, oh, okay, that's a bit different, and the American White Oak, Bourbon Cast, that's regular for most, for a lot of rum, so that's regular, but the Port Cast a little bit different, that's, that might give it a nice, uh, more of a winey sort of taste, so looking forward to that. Um, so all the rums age between five and seven years and they blend it together by a master blender. So, yeah, let's give it a go. So, you know I'm happy, you already it. You know I'm happy, because you know I'm, you, this, you, listen, you know I'm happy. Oh crud. You see the <laughs> Because I'm leaving it towards the mic, right? I'm opening it and bloody splitting the thing at the same time. Hmm. Okay. Mm, I did like sound though. Hang on, one more time, one more time. It's not, uh, it's got the right cork, but the sound wasn't correct. The sound was a bit off. One here, this was a bit, this sound was, the, the sound of this one wasn't as strong. But, here we go. Ooh. Mmm. That does smell good. That does smell good. If I didn't say um, before, this is a St. Lucian rum. Oh, yeah. So, 
From this room I'm getting some good caramel vibes. Smell. No, this smell. It smells sweet, but not not artificially sweet. Like I keep on going back to, back to bamboo as my go-to default as to what a sickly artificial sweet rum smells like. This smells sweet, but nothing like that. It reminds me of something. It's reminding me of a. Um, I want to say it reminds me a little bit of, oh, it's a spiced rum. Um, also from St. Lucia. Name escapes me now. Literally, you know what's going to bother me. Give me a second, let me just quickly Google that because that's going to upset me now because, hang on a sec. I know some of you, someone from, someone's probably on the screen shouting at me now, saying uh, what rum is. Um, but I can't remember what the name of this bloody rum is called. Rum. Chairman's Reserve. It reminds me a little bit of. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm thinking Chairman's Reserve. Or oh, that Tr Trinidad rum, um, Angostura. I think that's in Trinidad. I'm get, that's, uh, sorry. Uh, remember the. F so let me just pause you before anyone gets at me when they buy this and gets at me. I'm just going off memory. I've not had those rums in a while. I'm just thinking, oh, I'm getting those, ah, and I'm getting, ah, as well. I'm also getting a little bit of um, diplomatic green bottle. So if you know those rums, if you know the, rum, if you know the rums I mentioned, you'll, you'll understand, you'll get what this smells like. They all, they all have a quite a similar scent. And this is among that scent. The caramel's there. The alcohol's there, but it's not overpowering. You can smell the sugar in it, it's got the sugar content in it. But no, but no one scent is overpowering the other. So yeah, the color's good. Oh my gosh, the legs on this. I don't know if you're gonna pick it up on this camera. I'll bring it closer if you can get that. Can you see that? No, I don't think you can on this camera. Can you see that? No. All right. That's unfortunate because there are there are some legs in this, and when I see legs in a rum, that that's always it's generally a good sign to me anyhow. So let's go. So it's pretty smooth. It's quite a, for the, especially for the color. It's quite light tasting. Doesn't feel heavy. Um. Again. This one's a little bit of a winter warmer. I had one recently. Um, it's not. It's not flaming in the chest, but it's a little, little log fire, just making it just glow. You know, good rum for these autumn months that are coming. I mean, it's supposed to be summer now, and the outside is grey as anything. So you you might be confused and might think it's autumn right now, but we're actually in the middle of beginning of August. <laughs> I've got my parade for a minute. <laughs> um, so it's light, not too heavy, um, and quite and very smooth. Those initial tastes. In terms of flavour, it's a bit of a smoky. Um, Bit of a smoky flavour to it. Um, the, the 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 caramels that I was smelling don't seem to translate and jump out in the tasting. In fact, when I'm being brutal, honest with you, I'm actually I'm actually finding it quite difficult to really pick out any flavors that sort of jump out and say, oh, here I am. It doesn't mean that it's not nice, it just means that there's nothing. For me, that's, a, for me, that's a, not a bad thing. It just means that it's blended very well to give a nice, I wouldn't say it was bland like the Green Island White Rum I've recently reviewed, 
that was a very flat, neutral taste. This has something there. But what it has isn't very easily identifiable, which means that the blender just made sure that it's a nice, neutral, little, little bit, not quite in the middle, but a little bit, I mean, if, if we're saying this is the middle, this is negative, this is positive, I'd say a little bit that side, you know? Whereas all the over here is very flavoursome. This is nothing, this is like terrible, terrible flavour. We're saying it's just a, uh, to one side. But what it definitely is, is a rum, it's definitely a sipping rum. It's definitely a rum you can, you could, well, you'll be happy with. And, I, I, and again, I know I always review without lime because I want to give it like the I want the rum itself to speak to me, but I am an avid believer that a slice of lime in a rum goes a very very long way. It helps to push those flavors out, and a slice of lime can really change the way a rum tastes and goes down. But with my reviews, I have to keep it I like to keep it neutral, I have to keep it fair and how you know how the blender how the distributors put it together and so i want to take it the way they prevent present it rather than putting my spin on it okay so before i give you my score you have to like you have to subscribe to the video and share the video with your friends share the link to your friends just get out there promote 1833 let's get it out there let's get this let's get this popping let's get Everybody who loves rums knowing about this channel. Let's get those who don't know about rums educated. And yeah, this, this, listen, this is your way of knowing what are good rums, the, the good rums that are out there. So you don't go out there and buy trashy rums like bamboo. Oh my gosh, someone's gonna kill me. <laughs> so you don't buy trashy rums and you buy good rums. And yeah, like I say, like, like, you know, if you know someone's a rum drinker, you, you can always get some nice presents in there. If you uh, are a rum drinker yourself, you can, you know, in a chat, on IG, whatever it is, pop it to me and say, hey, you know, Damien, I saw that, it was great rum, great recommendation, I loved it, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you want to do with it, but this is a way to help you get some buying advice, right? So, I am enjoying my rums, you know I love my rums, um, and I'm saying, with that said, We do scores on doors, we didn't buy and enjoy, buy and share. No, what are we talking about? Just buy and keep, buy and enjoy. I, and I bother with it, this from, ooh. You know, I might have to put this as a buy and keep, you know. I may, this is, as I'm drinking this, I mean, it's, it's, it's a really good rum. It, it's, yeah, listen, I'm saying buy this bottle, be selfish with it and enjoy it. You know, ones where you've been out, you've, you've had a long day at work, We've had a long day at work in your front room or a long day at work in your kitchen. Because <laughs> most of us are working from home still, right? <laughs> We've had a long day at work in front of your laptop at home, anything. You just want something to take the edge off? This is the one. This, this, this will do that for you. I imagine that I'll still have this bottle of rum in a year's time because, yeah. 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 Ha ha ha.